Hey everybody, Tony here, welcome back, hope you're doing great. Last time we saw if we could play Pink Floyd with a digital amplifier. Today we'll see if we also need a red or black strut to do the job. Before starting, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I see that many people watch my videos, but they are not subscribed. If you want to help, please hit the subscribe button. It's a small action that really helps me. Thanks in advance. So, I cannot believe it's been so long, cause I actually got this guitar back in November 2020. I've been looking for a definitive strat for a long time and one day I decided to go to the shop and I tried as many guitars as I could. This one had definitely caught my eye earlier, but in the end it was also the most comfortable guitar I tried that day and that's the reason why I decided to go for it. So this is a Fender Stratocaster Ultra, which is basically a step above the Fender Professional series. Let's see some features. One modern D neck profile with satin finish and rounded edges. This we could say is not too far from the Professional series, which has a deep C and also has a, a satin finish. So they're both comfortable, but this is a tiny bit thicker. Two, 10 to 14 inches compound radius, which means uh, the fretboard is flatter in the upper registry. This is supposed to help you for uh, faster playing. Three, ultra noiseless vintage pickups, uh, which uh, have a very nice sound and what, what surprised me is the volume, which is mm, almost not affected by being noiseless and they have an interesting presence in the lower end. 4. Locking tuners. 5. Switch in the volume which blends the bridge pickup in any position, like the toggle switch that David Gilmour has on the black strut. And 6. 6. They improved the, this part behind the neck and uh, it, it helps you when you're playing in the upper registry again. We have uh, some additional features like uh, enhanced circuitry to preserve highs and uh, here we have a no load pot which excludes uh, the pot from the circuit when you are at 10. And finally something trivial but still nice to have, uh, we have soft uh, touch knobs and uh, embossed fender logo which is absolutely useless but nice to have. Also this is in a stunning glossy finish which is also not too far from the frost red that I can show you right now but of my red strut and uh, this is cobra blue. And that's pretty much all we can say about this guitar so it's time uh, to let you judge. Um, I'll be playing with my amplifier uh, to be fair to the other videos and that's it i tried to cover all the errors most errors as possible um, i'm glad that i finally introduced to you this guitar because now i will be free to use it uh, more often in the upcoming videos and that's it so leave a comment let me know what you think uh, hit a thumb up or down of course and uh, Again, the subscribe button is very, very important. So, until next time, I wish you a great time. And I'm Tony, and I'll see you soon. Take care.
departed It's not enough, it's not enough